Despite the U.S. approving the sale of 12 AH-1Z Viper light attack helicopters to Slovakia, Bratislava is reconsidering the deal, focusing instead on the acquisition of additional F-16 fighter jets. This shift in priorities has opened a potential opportunity for Ukraine, which has been seeking these helicopters since 2022. Ukrainian MP Vadim Ivchenko, citing the Defense News report, highlighted that two years ago, the Ukrainian armed forces formally requested the AH-1Z Vipers through the U.S. Foreign Military Sales FMS, program. These helicopters are viewed as critical for Ukrainian forces fighting in the eastern regions of Donetsk and Zaporizhia and conducting operations in border areas like Kursk. We need these helicopters for our soldiers who are fighting on the front line, Ivchenko emphasized, underlining the urgency of strengthening Ukraine's aerial capabilities. Slovakia's reluctance to finalize the AH-1Z Viper deal has surprised U.S. officials, with reports suggesting Washington is frustrated by the sudden shift. An industry insider noted that Slovakia is not only declining the Vipers but is also attempting to secure a discount on fighter jets and air defense systems instead. This comes after a change in Slovakia's leadership following parliamentary elections, with the newly appointed Defense Minister Robert Kalanak prioritizing F-16 purchases. His predecessor, Yaroslav Nad, criticized the reversal, arguing that the military's immediate needs would be better served by the Vipers. The helicopters were initially earmarked for Pakistan, but that agreement also fell through, leaving U.S. officials looking for another buyer. If Slovakia ultimately turns down the Vipers, Ukraine stands ready to take them, intensifying its lobbying efforts with U.S. lawmakers. Ivchenko has reportedly written to U.S. officials urging the Biden administration to approve the transfer of these helicopters to Ukraine. Ukraine's attack helicopter fleet, largely made up of aging Soviet-era models, is in dire need of modernization. The ongoing war has highlighted the limited maintenance capabilities for these older aircraft, particularly as Ukraine's service centers are under constant threat of missile strikes, and support from Russian facilities is no longer an option. This reality has pushed Ukraine to look toward Western alternatives to update its fleet. While Kiev has also requested the more advanced AH-64E Apache Guardian helicopters, progress on this front remains unclear. The AH-1Z Viper, a modernized and battle-tested platform, is seen as a viable option, offering Ukraine improved attack capabilities on the battlefield. However, Defense Express recently noted that while both the AH-1Z and AH-64E are ideal choices, they may not be realistic in the short term due to the complexities of acquisition, training, and maintenance. Ukraine already operates Western rotorcraft such as the Sikorsky SH-3C King and UH-60 Black Hawk, and adding the AH-1Z Viper to its fleet could bolster its aerial strike capabilities. This urgency has driven Ivchenko to advocate for the Vipers in U.S. legislative circles, hoping to secure them if Slovakia decides against the acquisition. Ukraine's interest in the AH-1Z Viper highlights the country's ongoing efforts to modernize its military in the face of increasing threats. With Slovakia's focus shifting to F-16s, the possibility of Ukraine acquiring the helicopters has become more feasible. If successful, the acquisition of these advanced attack helicopters would mark a significant upgrade for Ukraine's aerial forces, providing a vital asset in its defense against ongoing threats.